Design Manager Professional has a sophisticated delivery ticket system that suits the needs of larger design firms. The delivery ticket system really creates shipping tickets for items being delivered to the client or any outside location, really. Design Manager Professional has a sophisticated delivery ticket system that suits the needs of larger design firms. The delivery ticket system makes shipping tickets that are used for items to be delivered to the client or any location, really. To access the delivery tickets, go into your Project tab, Documents frame, and select Project Delivery Tickets. On the delivery ticket window, input the project for which you want to create a delivery ticket. Upon doing so, any past tickets would be listed in the delivery ticket grid. To make a new one, click the Add button. And that brings us to our new delivery ticket window. And here we can see a lot of information. First, we have the date, which defaults to today's date, but you, of course, could change that. Pictures option, whether or not to include a, the image of the item on the delivery ticket, which does help the delivery team, I imagine, uh, cross-reference the goods they're delivering, but it will make the document a little longer. The address. We have a few options here. There's a default option for use the site address. This would be the site address of the project you're currently creating the ticket for. If you want to go to a different location, uncheck the use site address option, which then allows you to input any ship to location as needed. But we'll go ahead and ship it directly to the client's site. Now let's look at some of the information on the delivery items grid. First, we have an option for show components. What this option will do is allow Design Manager to print not only the item being delivered, but each of the constituent components for, um, for the items themselves. So you are gonna, it makes it very convenient if an item is comprised of different pieces or components, so the delivery team can get all of them that are necessary to uh, deliver the entire item. But again, it does make the, um, the document a little longer. You have the location, within the project, which of course would be very convenient. The reference number, there's a sample image or a thumbnail of the items themselves, the description, the item quantity and unit of measure, and then there are three other important quantities for the delivery ticket. First, the quantity delivered. This is the number of units of the item previously delivered, if any. In our case, all of them are zero as we have not yet made a delivery ticket for this project. The delivered quantity is what would be the number, what would be the quantity being delivered for the item today. The edit button allows us to change that. So imagine that we're only going to deliver two of the pillows. So I can highlight item three, hit the edit button, and make the quantity to deliver two. And now you can see that it's changed from four down to two. Quantity shipped. After the delivery ticket was created and the delivery team makes the, uh, takes the merchandise, how many, uh, how many units of the item were actually transferred to the client? Did one get damaged? Did one fall off the truck, etc.? In conjunction with the quantity shipped, we have the set shipped quantity option. So if we know the goods were delivered and successfully transported and we're just updating all of our tracking information, we can use this option that'll simultaneously set the shipped quantity to the uh, delivered quantity. And we can also manually input the shipped quantity as well, which we'll get to in a moment. So let's go ahead and make a delivery ticket. So we'll select a few items, and we'll use the show component option on a few of them as well. There we go and we'll go ahead and show pictures. Click OK, and we'll generate the delivery ticket document. And here we go, and there's our company information on the left-hand side, our logo, delivery ticket number one for that project, the, the delivery ticket date, again, that could have been changed if desired, project code and name, 
a designer associated with the project, number of pages, where we're going to be shipping, and most importantly, let's look at the information within the body of the document. There's our quantity ordered. Now, if we think about that, that's what our client is ordering, not what we ordered from the vendor, but they're ordering from us. Quantity to be delivered. And if we look at our pillows, for example, the client ordered four, but today we're only delivering two. Now the shift quantity, nothing's entered here. This is, this is by design and it's intended for the delivery team to go ahead and actually fill in the number of being shipped. Again, we hope that all of them are shipped, but if something was damaged and the client refused it, they could denote that on the ticket itself. And notice for our sofa and pillows, we're not showing our components, but the sleigh bed, we can see we do have uh, all the component information list listed here as well. And it does make the document a bit longer. And also there may be information in there that you don't want to be seen by uh, whomever takes shipment, uh, such as a manufacturer, catalog number, those types of things. You may want to hide some of that or uh, keep some of that sensitive information to yourselves. So uh, be sure to think about that when you do select uh, the show component option. And even at the end of the document, we can see we have an area for signature. So whoever takes ownership can go ahead and sign and date the document as well. Go ahead and close our print preview window. And like most documents in Design Manager, we're always asked to accept or reject. So if we truly want to process the ticket, we accept. And there it is. Now, there are a few options here. Obviously, if we click delete, we can delete the delivery ticket. We can reprint one, of course. We can add. Unlike other documents, such as a proposal or purchase order, however, when we click edit, we're not actually adding or removing items so much as we can truly set our ship quantity as well. So from here, I could say after the ticket was returned by the delivery team that the actual quantity shipped for uh, the fabric, one sofa, one as well. And let's say that, that only one of the pillows made it out of the two and the sleigh bed etc. Now we can see that our quantity shipped is being input. So if I click OK here, I'm not regenerating the delivery ticket. I'm simply saving that information. Now where does that information go? Well, if we go back to our project specifications for that project. Let's take a look at our pillows, which are having some trouble being delivered properly. Edit and go to the status tab. At the bottom, we can see our delivery information. There's our ticket number, the date, what we intended to deliver, and what was truly shipped. So all of those quantities are being tracked automatically for us within Design Manager. And I can go ahead and create another delivery ticket for the same item to get the rest of those pillows truly delivered to the client as desired. So delivery ticket system in Design Manager, very powerful, sophisticated tool to track the delivery and shipment of all of your items to the client site or any third-party location where they may need to be delivered.